All right, today video quality is going back down. Uh, I don't have a tripod for my, new, for my new camera. I just don't want to have it just sitting around when I'm, you know, taking the whole front off the car and doing all that. And I also don't have anyone to help me film. So yeah, cell phone camera it is, but I'm very excited because today it's finally nice out. Nice blue skies. Which means it's finally time to get on my new Mission Mode radiator. Look at that. That is beautiful. With this, I uh, just didn't throw in another bolt. So I'll make that part easy. Uh, but step one, uh, we're gonna have to get the front of the car off, which there are two bolts here, two bolts here. There's supposed to be a smaller one down in here. And there's also supposed to be two threaded pins that go in there that hold the top of the radiator in, um, which my car never came with. Uh, and then also there's two big 13 millimeter bolts under, under this cover and under the other cover. And the whole front slides off uh, in addition to a couple electrical connectors. All right, so this electrical connector goes to pretty much everything on the front. The only other things are the outside temperature sensor, which just pulled completely out, so that's good. Uh, and then the two horns are back down there as well. So this is one of my favorite things about this car is that the whole front end just comes off like that. And then look, boom, radiator's right there. Honestly, all that's left is hose, hose, fan connector, and then swap over the fans. And then, uh, yeah, bolt here, bolt here. And then, uh, yeah, it's done. Damn, pretty much all in the pan too. This all looks, well, pretty gross. So, might spray it down a little bit, might not. You can see crack pipe I installed. No leaks as far as I can tell. It looks bone dry in there, just dusty. And uh, yeah. So, a little time has went by. Decided to give this, give this place a little cleaning. It's not perfect, but it's better. So, you can actually read what that says on there. This is looking a little better too. So, now we'll probably uh, go ahead and swap that radiator over. Well, That's kind of useless. And wow, so is what's left of this one. Also, I never really knew that it's just a rubber band or, a, you know, like a belt drive. There we go, no more rattly fans. I just have to get this guy out and we'll be able to swap everything over. I'm for sockets to see what would be big enough to fit that. And I found this, which is close, but then I also discovered comes out. All right, so I've run into a snag. Uh, this fan shroud doesn't exactly fit uh, on this radiator and the bolts to mount it, the thread pitch in there is a lot, a lot finer than this. So yeah, not quite sure what we're gonna do about that. Um, may just send it, honestly. See what happens. About as hot as we're gonna get. Um, kind of sucks. Hopefully nothing happens, but it's mostly on and I don't think it's contacting the radiator, so. All right, so any, any technical difficulties aside, that looks fucking cool. That looks really fucking good. I'm happy. Um, now to button everything up, fill everything back with coolant and uh, make sure we don't got any leaks. 
because if there's one thing that this car loves, it's leaking. We're not gonna repeat the same mistake as last time. All right, we're also gonna try to get some of this crud out of here. Uh, I got a bunch of simple green, and I'm honestly thinking I'm just gonna plug one end of it with my finger, fill it up, shake it around a whole bunch, dump it out, see what happens. All right, wasn't able to get a whole lot of the crud out of it. Um, I think I'm just gonna get a new one. They're only 20 bucks anyway, but now it's time for some fresh uh, AutoZone special coolant. All right, so I already had a leak. Uh, I was right in here, but it was my fault. I forgot to put a gasket in there, but now we've got it topped back off and uh, let's try bleeding again. And now comes my favorite part, getting this onto there by myself. So just like that, we're back installed. Cleaned up the engine bay just a little bit. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's better than it was. Got some stuff looking a little bit shinier. I mean, it's never gonna be something you can eat off of until like I polish that manifold and like take shit apart and actually do that, but we're uh, right on the money for coolant. Didn't didn't overheat, didn't do anything like that. Fans came on and um, yeah. Now, if you look all the way down here, you'll see that there's a nice aluminum radiator. And maybe, yeah, you can't see it through the front at all, which that's a shame, but hey, at least we got decals. So yeah. One last step. There we go. Alrighty, so that's gonna do it for today. Uh, it was actually pretty easy. Uh, the main thing I had issues with was uh, the fan tread not lining up properly, but I made it work and me forgetting to put a uh, gasket on that coolant sensor that screws into the radiator, uh, causing a small leak. But other than that, no, it just, yeah, went together fine and looks good and everything's plugged back in and yeah. So thanks to Mishimoto for agreeing to sponsor me. And uh, yeah, see ya.